I like being able to give customers or clients like a little bit of intimidation factor. So just say someone sits down with like a really awesome like design stick and then, you know, you're an opponent and you look at it, you're like, oh, okay, this guy's like serious. Like he actually like designed this. He had someone design this fight stick. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's like, you know, that that's definitely a, a couple, it's definitely some plus frames, you know, off the rip. So. <laughs> Hey guys, today we're sitting down with the legendary Johnny Fraze to pick his brain about fight stick design philosophy, his inspirations, and how he went about turning his passion for arcade sticks into a full-time job. So what's up guys? I go by Johnny Fraze in the community. I am a full-time fight stick designer and builder, graphic designer. Basically I have a business just around that particular space in the fighting game community. I've been doing that for about 10 years. Yeah, maybe around like when Street Fighter 4 started to really pop, I started really getting into modding arcade sticks and then I eventually transitioned to making customs. So design process for building arcade sticks. I have a background in graphic design. I kind of use that, especially in uh, vector design, meaning like Adobe Illustrator. And I kind of use that to engineer all my products. And I also kind of take, you know, my influences in life, you know, my, my background, my, my cultural background, music, graffiti, street art. And I kind of just put everything together and make a product that I like personally. Like I'm always, my first judge is like, do I like it? And then I kind of experiment from there. I, I share my designs. With, with certain people i make stuff for friends see what they like until i get something solid that i feel is a little bit more universal for everybody my my biggest principles as far as design is just simplicity comfort ergonomics and being able to showcase artwork around you know around the product i think that's what makes my products unique my inspiration again is it's really just like my interests in life and the things that I've experienced in my past, my culture. Like for instance, the Espada. This guy, so this guy was inspired by where my dad is from, right? Um, I was looking up these weapons called Weapons of Moro Land. Moro Land's like an area in the Philippines in like this a southern part of the Philippines. A lot of history back there. They fought like Spanish colonialism and whatnot. And there's just a lot, there's like this warrior culture there. And I was like looking at the swords and I was like, man, like look at this one sword. I think it was called the Gayang. And like it had these really cool like sharp angles to, to the actual blade. I was like, I wonder if I can make that a cool arcade stick. And then, you know, after a bunch of revisions it ended up being the Espada. You you should see the original one that I drew on the I did it on Procreate on the iPad and it was much more extreme like the angles were crazy and there was like you like damn someone could hurt themselves with this so I was like let me back off a little bit so I kind of ended up being you know a tamer version of what I first came up with but this is the Espada when I moved over to the for the dub I basically took some of those principles from the Espada but I kept some of those angles I hate rectangles or and like squares it has to be a little off like there has to just be a little touch of like soul into into <laughs> into a piece i just can't stand rectangles i'm sorry i'm gonna get flamed for this but I, I literally cannot stand just like a plain rectangle you know it has to have a little bit of flavor to it you know what i mean and again one of my biggest things is making sure that you can express yourself with as much art as you could because i think that's what really makes um you know fight sticks unique you know is being able to put your stamp your personal stamp on stuff so this is the for the dub my current product i'm definitely proud of working with my clients i love being able to be the guy to bring their vision to life when they say hey i have this idea and then like working through that it's, it takes a while that's why i don't take as many commissions as um, a lot of people think i should just because i mean it, it's exhausting it's like you're, you literally have to create something i'm literally like like a japanese you know samurai a sword maker you know what i mean like it just it's so much detail that goes into a lot of these but just like bringing that final product to life and like sending it to them and them being really proud of their work and like our work together that's like one of the best feelings that you can have doing what i do at least you know or as a creator other than that i'm really proud of the work i do for the bigger community like being able to support red bull as their like official dj for instance for like subway showdown doing that project with anakin with them called the most intimidating fight stick you could check that out on youtube really fun project um recently i worked with chipotle and capcom with my homie clever art and we did the Chipotle Challenge winners arcade sticks where Clev designed them and I got to build them. That was really fun. And that ended up at Evo for Punk and Knuckle Dude who won the tournament. Come on, crazy. Combo Breaker, uh, we've done merch for them. Some of their some of their designs, like the graffiti, you know, Combo Breaker hoodie that you guys see. Some of the t-shirt designs, me and my homie Clev have done that. That's just amazing. Like I get to do these little things in FGC that people don't really know about, but you know, that I know. Um, so, oh, speaking of which, I helped design a lot of the stuff for Snackbox. So a lot of people think, oh, you, you have your own fights to company. 
why do you support other fuck because because we're one we're, you know we are one in the same you know what i mean so it's like i'll give you an example i've done both Snackbox Micro Evo editions for the last two years. I think I have the last one right here. This is um, my design. You can tell a lot of my graffiti hip hop influences is, is kind of in there. Very Street Fighter Six forward, you know. Uh, and then, but I also do like a lot of clean designs for them as well. This is the Snackbox Micro XL um, stock artwork, just very clean, simple design. This one got released in Japan as like the stock artwork for the Japanese one. A lot of people don't know this, but I also did the design for the logo for, for Mixbox, as well as the stock artwork on their products. No one knows that I did this. I feel like it goes under the radar, but yeah, you can't, can't you tell like a little MB on the corner? A lot of my styling, so shout out to the Mixbox team as well. So yeah, I did start doing woodworking, but unfortunately it just wasn't healthy for me. Like I was breathing in all these paint fumes and like sawdust fumes, even wearing a respirator, but it was still super gnarly. Yeah, and it gave me tendonitis, like my, my forearms and my, my, my hands and my, my wrists, they just, you know, were in pain just from sanding and doing all this crazy stuff. It just wasn't healthy. So I had to give that up. Um, I still love, you know, the work I've done in that era, but it's just not worth it, right? So I got into laser cutting, um, especially during the Espada times, and I, I learned how to um, design for, you know, for that format. Uh, I used a third party because I couldn't afford my own equipment at the time, and I was making the Espada with a third party, you know, sending them designs, and then they would send me back it all cut with the material that I requested. But then eventually I ended up um, buying my own equipment, and that's what birthed the For the Dub, because believe it or not, the Espada, I would have kept going with the Espada. However, it didn't fit in my current laser uh, cutter like the design wouldn't work and it wasn't economical for me to make. So I had to start from scratch and I literally started with For the Dub and which became Mini Dub. I like acrylic because it's stronger in the sense that like if you drop a wooden case, like there's a dent in it. I feel like acrylic like can take a little bit of a licking a little bit more, especially the thicker panels that are out there. It's cleaner because you do have to laser cut it. And it's, it's like the perfect weight ratio once you have a fully built out like acrylic stick i feel like the metal sticks i love the metal sticks especially the guys who make them they're absolute tanks but that's exactly what they are they're absolute tanks you know in this era i feel like a lot of people are trying to be a little bit more swift like you know carry a smaller backpack the the bigger metal sticks are great they're really heavy though fully built out and it's definitely like you have to like that type of feel like a really heavy sticks i feel like acrylics kind of like my my sweet spot my, I have two favorite sticks. Favorite stick is the Diamond VLX. Diamond VLX, Japan exclusive. You got the metal panel, the baby blue and white. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I love this thing. Um, this one's obviously modded. It, it works with all the newer consoles and whatnot. So, yep, Hori VLX. All right, so this is like my actual favorite stick at the moment. This is my Koi for the dub. Koi patterned acrylic specialty acrylic punk workshop buttons the lever is a jlf with a uh, auto diy v5 it has bit bang gaming's removable switches a shuriken it has a freak mods removable lever the this guy it has a, a half circle half square gate little bubble orange ball top punk workshop buttons and then my favorite part about it is i didn't do artwork like a traditional stick i did it on the uh on the foam pad this is my koi etching that I designed for the bottom. Okay, so the Six God layout basically was birthed from Street Fighter VI, right? If you guys don't know what Six God came from, that's kind of like a Drake uh, term. It just kind of fit together. I'm not the biggest Drake fan, it just kind of like fit together. And the reason why you know that was the case was because of the two mechanics that came out with Street Fighter VI, which is Drive Parry and Drive Impact. I designed the Six God layout so that you can literally not move your hand and you have access to all your attacks and your thumb is actually being used and your pinky is actually hitting something without stretching it. So my graphic design principles are literally just like cleanness, right? Really stunning, clean, leading the eye around a composition basically is like a pleasing aesthetic. That's the best way I could describe it. And a lot of people think like my style is like really loud and colorful, which it is. I mean, I have a background in graffiti um, and doing like street art and stuff like that. And I went to school for graphic design as well. And uh, I just kind of like honed in on that that space. So that's where like my style comes from. But I really do feel like it, if, if you're doing something custom, like 
you want to have something exciting because you know why would you get why would you pay an artist to do something that is just like bland right so it's i don't know that's just my philosophy i like being able to give customers or clients like a little bit of intimidation factor so just say someone sits down with like a really awesome like design stick and then you know you're an opponent and you look at it, you're like okay this guy's like serious like he actually like designed this he had someone design this fight stick <laughs> you know what i mean so that's like you know that that's definitely a, a couple definitely some plus frames you know off the rip so <laughs> So uh, I had a couple careers, um, I'm a little older than most people think, but I did have a couple careers. I started off as a graphic designer, full-time art director for a, a small marketing company. And then I had this really long career at Apple. Yeah, like iPhones and stuff and Macs and, and iPads and stuff. Uh, I've done human resources, I've done operations, visuals, you guys name it. I've done everything under the sun the whole time also just being uh, learning how to be a really strong leader and understanding just business in general. And that kind of gave me a leg up to allow me to kind of pursue what I was passionate about in the fighting game community, which was like the arcade sticks. I have to give a huge shout out to my wife for giving me like the okay to say like, go for it. It was like such a relief to hear someone that supported me say that. And it was just, you know, it's what I needed. So, right. And you mentioned in this question that it's a niche of a niche. The thing about it, we're in the fight, we're in the video for overall, we're gamers. Okay. Inside the gaming community, we are fighting gamers. Okay, inside the fighting game community, we are the fighting game players that don't play on a con on a standard um, controller, right? So we're buried three levels in a niche, and I managed to make it work. I work all damn day, you know. I take care of my community. I try my best to 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 listen and um, to innovate, and you just gotta. It's definitely a grind, but it's possible to anyone out there that's trying to be an entrepreneur um and you have a passion for something and even if it's the niche of a niche of a niche we've already established this it's freaking possible right i quit a job from one of the best companies in the world i'm happier and i'm thriving i would say just being able to to go to events like again having like a table at combo breaker and and uh east coast throwdown probably some of the best times ever you know we run raffles out of there you know just high-fiving everybody you know um, talking to everybody that comes by you know seeing people with like my arcade sticks walk by I'm like yo yo come over here like oh snap like I can't believe it like thank you for supporting and like can I take a picture of you know you holding up the stick that's like the best thing ever obviously going to majors is just fun too just experiencing like that in the flesh being in the crowd screaming for your favorite player for instance I just went to Red Bull Kumite oh my god that was so fire it was like the probably one of my favorite events I've ever attended because it was like for once like it was a show I hope I still have the business going I mean that would mean a lot to me to kind of still be able to do this in this space I definitely just want to make sure that I'm using my talents to the full potential right meaning that like for instance my older careers you know I was really into them but I feel like I wasn't using my full um creative potential and i just want to be a creative in any space i enter i just want to make sure i'm using my creativity because that's where i'm the most happiest uh the one thing i want to make sure i maintain is being able to work for myself i kind of figured this out for a lot of people that um again trying to be entrepreneurs i think it's really important to leverage like what we have nowadays you know I'm, i grew up as a kid in the 90s where we didn't have a lot of these outlets we have today like social media i get a lot of flack for being very active on social media especially from my peers right they think i like i'm od and overdo it but it's like so i'm not going to use these tools that are readily available to help market what keeps my family fed are you guys crazy like this is what you need to do like my job is 50 percent physically making stuff and designing and then my other half is making content so i can keep doing what i love a lot of people don't realize that be original if you're trying to get into the fight stick thing like be original bring something that no one has been doing to the table or lean into something that people have a need for you know i like to think that like when i was thinking about the six god layouts for street fighter 6 that we really needed something to change the way this controllers are made to play games more optimally and that's kind of like my gift to com the community you know just think in those in those terms like what do people need how can i be um innovative and bring something original to the table and uh be there for your community that's that's really about it and when again back when i said uh, starting your own business type thing like just work your ass off you know like you, you have to
and you can't do anything half-assed. I think I'm probably, you know, gonna say the cliche thing, but I definitely want Makoto back and Street Fighter. I think Makoto is like the sickest character. I love her in Third Strike. She's actually on the screen right now, which is like perfect timing. Um, but yeah, Third Strike, Makoto, Street Fighter 4 Makoto. I just love how she hits. She hits like a truck. Everything about her. So you can check out my stuff at johnnyfraze.com, J-O-N-Y-F-R-A-Z-E.com. Um, you can also follow me on literally every platform um, at Johnny Fraze, J-O-N-Y-F-R-A-Z-E. Uh, last shout outs, huge shout out to my fam. Can't do this without them. They gave me the strength to, to keep going. Huge shout out to the whole Rival Fools community. Shout out to everybody that's been supporting me. Shout out to everyone that ever picked up a BNB b and a Spada or a For the Dub. I'm going to keep working my butt off to keep to keep making some new stuff for you guys shout out to the guy hush my sweet thank you so much for this interview i appreciate your time and uh guys please follow the channel because has some banging content if you're into fight sticks if you're into the fighting game community and just tech for fighting games in general all right it's your boy johnny phrase catch you on the flip side peace and thanks to johnny for sitting down to talk fight sticks and answer a few questions I enjoyed the insight into this side of our hobby, so let me know if you'd like to see more community interviews like this in the future. Support your locals, and I'll see you next time.